Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a late night Raw preview. Um, is Raw going to suck this week or is it going to be good again there? Might go back to sucking that dick there, we don't know people. Um, some of the stuff on WWE.com there. Can AJ Styles claim... Reigns is WWE title. Uh, no. <laughs> Probably not a big chance that, you know, Roman Reigns is going to win. I'm pretty damn sure of that there, but at least AJ Styles gets his chance to be in the spotlight. It's a step in the right direction. It shows that they see him as a guy that can draw for them, you know. Um, but, uh, Styles probably gonna get his ass whooped. We might get some bad promos there on Monday night, but not sure if Roman is still gonna be a, a bad guy or not a bad guy or a good guy, but D guy. <laughs> not sure if he's gonna keep going with that there. Um, will Shane McMahon bring us another money raw? Hopefully Shane does remain as the GM of Raw and people were pissed off that he was the GM even though we lost. This way we get Taker that's still at Mania next year, you know, we don't lose Taker. And if people wanted Shane, then you have Shane on Raw. And basically Shane as the GM doesn't really change much, it's... And it'd be probably lots of boring matches, shit like this, and you're gonna get Shane once in a while there. Hey, that money there. And that'll be it, you know, but at least we're gonna have Shane McMahon on Raw. It's a big name. It's a guy that we like from the Attitude Era. Dr. Phil on Raw. Um, you know, some people were afraid of this. Lots of people complained about this because, you know, we don't want more celebrity guest hosts and shit on Raw because that was very bad and it was always fucking jobber celebrities that people didn't care about and it was just very bad and corny and shit. And the same thing could happen with Dr. Phil. It could end up being complete trash there. But Dr. Phil is very popular, you know. That's why they're doing this. And it might end up being funny if he does, like, interviews with weird superstars and shit like this. They're pretty much what they did with Kane and Dr. Shelby or whatever his name was, they might do something like that with Dr. Phil. It could end up being funny, but might end up being fucking garbage. Are the Dudley boys soft? Um, I'm very happy to see Enzo and Big Cass on Raw. Um, they're very, you know, entertaining, charismatic, stuff like this. Hopefully they're going to become the tag team champs there. And it looks like they're being promoted for this feud against the Dudleys. The Dudleys are a little bit boring now that it's PG, but it, this might be good, who knows. R-Truth and Goldust, Booker T and Goldust 2.0. They're promoting this. Not sure if they're going to wrestle as a team or what the fuck's going to happen there, but... Something's gonna happen, dog. It might be funny, this team, but it's an obvious ripoff of, you know, Goldust and Booker T. Just put Goldust with another black guy is pretty much what they're doing, but I don't know. I don't expect much from this. Will the Wyatt family seal the League of Nations fate? I hope so, because the League of Nations fucking sucks. They put Sheamus as the champ with this boring group there. 
The ratings fucking tanked big time. They could use Alberto Del Rio by himself. Same thing with Rusev. Wade Barrett, maybe they could do something with him if he's not quitting or whatever. But this group just straight up fucking sucks. And <laughs> they need to end this shit. Um... Can Natalia knock Charlotte off her pedestal? Um, probably not. I highly doubt that uh, Natalia is going to win. But she might win because with this new women's division, it's not about Barbie dolls and stuff like this. It's about women that can actually wrestle. And Natalia can wrestle. She's a bigger girl. You know, she wasn't in the spotlight because she was bigger. You know what I'm saying? But maybe now that it's a women's division, they might give her the belt like as a sign there that, oh, it's about women wrestlers, not just hot chicks. So we're going to put the belt on the fat ass or whatever to, to, to prove to the world there that we care about wrestling and not Barbies whatever they could do Bret Hart in Natalia's corner to help out against Ric Flair you never know there but raw it kind of looks like it'll be okay but you never know dog it might go back to to sucking cock there but we'll see time will tell on Monday Night Raw until next time peace